Hello, this is Randall Whiteman from Jetty Demo Junior. This video is an introduction to the Day in the Life series of demonstrations where I'll be showing transactions to simulate a complete end-to-end -end processes of a typical business. Before we get into the demonstrations using the software, we'll be using JD Edwards standalone 9.2. I'll quickly run through some of the topics which will be covered in this demonstration series. So we'll be looking at the planning cycle, where we put in a forecast, plan distribution, plan finished goods purchasing, production and material purchasing. In procurement, we'll skip over acquisition and purchase quotation and look at the purchase orders from the suggestions generated in planning, receive supplier invoice and pay the supplier. In manufacturing, We'll be raising a work order from the suggestions created in planning. We'll schedule the work order production, finalise the work order and show manufacturing accounting. In distribution, we'll raise transfer orders, generate the transfer orders from the suggestion in planning. We'll dispatch from the sending branch, receive into the receiving branch and then finalise the transfer order. Finally, in sales, we'll raise a sales order, dispatch the goods, invoice, and collect the cash. Now we'll jump over to JDE, and this introduction, I'll quickly show some of the master data used throughout the demonstration series. So I've set up some favorites to access the applications we'll be using. If you'd like to see where these applications are accessed on the navigator menu. You can see the other demonstrations on YouTube JD Demo Junior channel. First we'll be going into the item master. So we'll go inventory management item master and we'll look for item 222 and find and we'll see that it is a green touring bike. So we can go in and have a look at the item master although we won't have a look in detail. So you see it's a green touring bike and some of the other item level, master level information there. We'll have a look at the branch next. So back through inventory management item branch plant. And again we'll look for item 222 and the two branches we're going to use are the distribution branch D30. So you can see the stocking type in the distribution branch is purchased because we're going to purchase the touring bike from the manufacturing plant and if we go over to the manufacturing plant M30 we'll see that the stocking type is M because it's manufactured in this branch. Okay next we'll have a look at the summary availability for the stock levels back in inventory management summary availability and item number 222 again we'll just limit the branches shown to those including 30 so we just see the branches we're looking for we can see we've got the distribution branch D30 manufacturing branch M30 omit zero quantities and we'll see we have 50 on hand in the distribution branch and none in the manufacturing branch Alright, we'll come out of there and next we'll show the product data management, the bill of material, we'll look in multi-level bill inquiry and we'll show item 222 again in the manufacturing branch, the manufactured bill and scroll to end we'll see there are 20 components including sub-assemblies. If we just scroll back up to the top, we'll see that item 203, the frame, is a manufactured item in itself, as well as the chain stay is also manufactured. What I've done though, if we go across to parts availability, I have adjusted in enough stock so that we have enough for the demonstrations except for item 2006, the Turing fork. 
So if all goes well, we should get purchasing suggestions during the planning run for this item to purchase some of this item. Next we'll have a look at the routing inquiry. Back in product data management, routing inquiry. Again we'll look at the manufacturing branch M30, 222, and we'll see there are six operations which make up the route for the green touring bike. Okay, now we'll quickly come down again to now forecasting and we'll show that there is currently no forecast which is the point that we will enter we'll start the demonstration series transactions so at the moment there is no records in the forecasting so in the next demonstration that's where we'll start we'll enter a forecast and then go through and run the planning cycle look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you